everyone in this video i'm going to show you how i made these little mermaid themed cookies so stay tuned and i will show you how here are the things that i'm going to use some little mermaid theme icing decorations and you can find these pretty much anywhere even online i'm going to be using a three and a half inch flower cookie cutter and this one came in a set and i found that at walmart I'm going to be using some white pearl nonpareils the star sprinkles are optional i'm going to be using some orange sanding sugar I'm going to be using orange, leaf green, and sky blue food coloring by Wilton. And these candy pearls are optional, and you can find those at Walmart. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, to get started on this cookie, I will be using an edible marker. And this is just to help me uh, guide how far I'm going to be going with my sand. And that way I don't um, go over and have some with the sand up higher and some down low. So um, I'm gonna be drawing a line right beneath that halfway point. Uh, this uh, cookie cutter happens to have uh, three um, petals on the top and three at the bottom. So I'm gonna meet it right here at halfway point, but I'm gonna go right below it. So depending on how many petals your um, cookie cutter uh, has, try to always find the middle point of it. If it has like four petals and four petals, just meet it halfway and then draw the line right underneath it just by a little bit. And then I'm gonna have my sanding sugar ready, a little brush where it's gonna help me brush off some of the sanding sugar. Uh, now I'm gonna be using a little bit of disco dust. Now this is optional, but I like to put some in that sand to make it look like a little bit like real sand. Um, now I am using orange, and um, I'm using orange to give it color. You can use tan or brown, whatever color that you like, but um, I'm using the, t the uh, orange because it also uh, has that in that theme in the Little Mermaid theme and it also has that teal color to it as well uh, But I will be using a little bit of a blue on this one But um, I wanted to go with the orange because of that color theme that that Little Mermaid has and also to give it some color So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to I have a tip three and I'm just going to fill in my bottom part And again that line is is optional but very helpful because sometimes you just uh, put your icing on there and uh, by the time you're done with it you're like halfway through the cookie this way it'll just give you a, a little guideline now this icing is uh, somewhat of a medium consistency I don't want to make it too runny for a couple reasons I, um, since I'm going to be adding that sanding sugar, I don't want this to be too runny to where when I add the sanding sugar, it's going to create some weight and it's going to go to the sides of my cookie. And also, when I pick my cookie up to throw out some of the sanding sugar, um, I don't want my icing to spill. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to bring in my tray. Get my sanding sugar and just sprinkle it all over. Depending on what color you are using, I'll try to find the sanding sugar to match it. So as you see here, I have to pick it up to release some of that sanding sugar and um, the icing is holding on well. So this is what I need my brush for just to get rid of some of that sanding sugar. and. Now I'm going to move my tray and put this back down and I'm going to grab a little bit of my disco dust again optional but um, sometimes the sand has a little bit of a, a little shine to it um, so I decided to add some on there. So now I'm going to set this aside I'm going to finish up the rest and um, give it a few minutes maybe 30 minutes just to grab a crust here so I can move on with my blue. Alright guys, so I gave this some time to dry a little bit. So now I'm going to move on to my blue for the water. And this is a like tip number three as well. Help me fill it out a lot quicker. I'll make sure that there's none of that sanding sugar on there. So now just go ahead and fill this top part out. And again, I am using somewhat of a medium consistency but not as thick as I did the bottom one this one's a little bit more flowy but I'm still um, not uh, doing it too too runny 
because again I don't want to um, have it run on my sides of the cookie and have it distort the shape of the flour. So just uh, spread it out as close as you can to the edge and um, I'm going to be using the little fishy, which is flounder for this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of them because they're pretty much all the same. You're going to be adding the um, the little icing decoration on to the side of the uh, cookie here. So they're pretty much all the same. I may um, do them all. I'm not sure, depending on my time. Go ahead and, and just grab your little flounder. And since he's facing in that direction, I'm going to put it on this side of the cookie. Just like that. And that will attach with uh, that icing that's still wet. And try not to move it so much because this icing is starting to set. Um, so you don't want to move it so much and then have your icing get all crunched up. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to add a few little stars to make them look kind of like small starfish. And since my icing has already crusted, I'm going to puncture the icing just a little bit. Just a, a little tiny, tiny circle. And then add some of that uh, orange icing. And I changed my tip to a tip zero, but you can use a tip one if you don't have one. And then just add a little bit of icing there. Just grab my little star and add it on there and the reason why I puncture the icing is uh, because these little stars are kind of puffy and if I add it directly on top that this icing here is not going to attach very well to that um, to that sanding sugar so these will have a tendency to kind of want to pop off so um, I decided to just make little um, holes in the icing Put in a little bit of the icing there and add the star on top. Just push it in. If you get some of this uh, icing that's kind of peeking out there, just kind of scrape it off with your tool so that it won't show. And that's the only reason why I'm making these little holes because um, I tried uh, doing it over on top of that uh, sand and sugar and uh, once it dried it kind of came off so I decided to make just a little bit of a hole there since I only gave this about 30 minutes to dry um, I could still puncture it and so when I set this down it goes into that little tiny hole and that will grab a lot better so now really quickly I'm gonna take my little pearls and put it really close to right by his nose and I'm going to be putting them kind of like one on the right, one on the left, one on the right one on the left and as I get to the top I'm going to start finding the little smaller ones and use those for the top and that's it. Now I'm going to give this uh, about an hour to dry because uh, I want to do my seaweed here. And that's going to be in a thicker consistency. So I don't want to puncture my icing accidentally. So give this about an hour or so. The more the better. And then um, you can go ahead and do the seaweed. Alright guys, so I decided to go ahead and, and do one more. Uh, here is one with the shell and I did put a little pearl on there just so I could have a little pearl with the shell. I'm going to do the same thing here with the star. Not that the star has um, pearls like a shell, but uh, just to kind of add a little bit of decoration there. And um, it's kind of, you know, it kind of goes with it, I, I suppose. So I'm going to add that little pearl there. And also I wanted to show you how I added that on there. Also on the starfish, I did do a little bit of a decoration to it. Kind of make it look a little bit more um, like a starfish. And that's just by adding little um, dots in this blue color. So I, I will be switching my uh, number three tip to a zero or you can use a one. So 
So let me just spread this out. Try to get these circles nicely. And then I'm gonna use my star on the right side. I did use the flounder on the left because he was facing in this direction. So I did the, um, the shell and the star on the right side. And then just put it in there. And then I'm gonna grab my, my little pearl before my icing dries. And I'm gonna set it on this side here. Let's put some decoration on the left side. And my seaweed is gonna go here. Now really quickly, I'm going to switch my tip to that zero. And what I'm gonna do is a one big dot in the middle and three little small dots on each arm of the starfish. So as you see, it, it kind of makes it look a little prettier. Or you, you can do any other color if you like. You can do the orange one if you like. But um, I found that this just kind of matches the darker blue. So now, again, I'm gonna go ahead and do the little starfish like I did with my flounder cookie at the bottom, making the little holes and adding the starfish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move on. All right, guys, now for the end, the seaweed. I have here a little bit of a thick consistency in green and I have a tip 67, but you can use a tip 66 as well. And what we're gonna do is pipe the middle one first, which is the longer one. Just kind of wiggle it as you go up. And then you do the one, two, two more little ones, one on each side. And that's pretty much it. I'll show you one really quick. So you see this one here uh, is on the right side and I'm gonna do one on the left. Again, very easily start off in the middle and do this one kind of long. And it's kind of hard to get that tip at the end. And then squeeze the two little ones. So you see I go up and down, up and down. I give that little ruffle effect. That is it. Let me just bring this down a little bit so they don't stick up too much. So now I'm going to give it some time to dry because that's uh, pretty much it. Alright guys, that is all for this video. I hope you like how that turned out. Pretty neat idea. So if you're having a little mermaid theme party, these are the perfect cookie to make. They're so super simple and super easy to make. I made some of these about two years ago and I did use a eight petal uh, flower cookie cutter so if you don't happen to have the six one you can use an eight but I do recommend using a six because the petals are um, a lot bigger so it's easier to fill that way you don't have to keep filling out so many little um, petals of the, the scallops in that cookie cutter so I highly recommend using a larger one um, with less um, petals on there uh, just remember if you use any other uh, shape cookie cutter, just make sure that you are using um, more of the water and less of the sand because you need this space up here for um, the seaweed. So um, try not to do half and half. Make sure that the sand um, has the less part and the water has the majority of the part. Um, that way you have some length to add that seaweed at the top. So um, there you have it guys really easy very colorful and really cute so um i hope you like this idea guys i thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't done so share the video with anyone who is uh, planning to make a little mermaid party and would like to make some of these and uh, i will talk to you soon thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one